I've had more than a few producers tell me that rounds is intimidating. And I get it. It's a lot going on here, and especially with the digital synthesizer, it's not so obvious as what is happening. This digital engine is pretty simple once you understand the, the basics of it. And that's what I'm going to break down right now, because it's not that bad. So to start, I got my old initial patch, and I've right-clicked on sound block E, because this is just going to give us one instance, one digital synthesizer. What you hear is the good old boring sine wave. Remember, Rounds has three sine wave operators. Operator 1, Operator 2, and then this hidden operator that you don't know about, which is the carrier. Okay? You don't see it, but that's what you're hearing right now. Operators 1 and 2 are simply modulators of the carrier. So when we compare this over to FM8, and I hit a key, you have the lone <laughs> sine wave output carrier running out to the output, okay? The way to recreate rounds inside of FM8 would be to right-click on D and E and enable two more operators that are going to modulate F. So essentially, if I wanted to use D as a modulator of F, all I have to do is click here and give it an amount. I should show it on the spectrum analyzer. What's actually happening here? Boring sine wave. More complex waveform thanks to frequency modulation. Let's do it in rounds now. I have the carrier sine wave, and I'm going to turn up the modulation amount of FM1. Essentially the same thing over here in FM8, and rounds. Very simple, right? Now, we can adjust the ratio, the tuning basically, of this operator. And listen what happens. So from 0, all the way to 10. Let's put it at three once, and let's do the same thing over in FM8. Make sense? You also have an offset for a little finer tuning, like more coarse tuning. Which you have right here in rounds, below. At any point, you can double-click and get back. Now, if I was to use FM2 and I wanted to introduce a more complex sound by modulating again, we could do this. And what's interesting here is that you have to pay attention to the algorithm. Rounds has two different algorithms. The first is a parallel design. One modulates the carrier. Two modulates the carrier independent of each other. They're not getting involved, okay? They're both just talking to the operator here. That essentially looks like this. And in FM8, we're basically going to route D to F and E to F. Very simple. Now, we could also do a serial design. Listen to the difference in rounds. Let me actually start with the parallel and switch. Very different, because what's happening here is 1 is modulating 2, and then 2 is modulating the carrier. So it's kind of like this doubled up. To do this in FM8, we'll show it off like this. Simple. Last thing I want to show you is that you have the option of adding feedback, which can really make things interesting. So in rounds, check what happens when I turn up the feedback knob. Immediately, if you go too far, you can turn it into like a white noise. But it's also capable of adding another layer of like this dirty grit. Okay? The feedback 
is selectable between each of the operators. So when I select one, you see the little black circle around. This is influencing which operator is going to get the feedback. So depending where it's introduced in the modulation change, it sounds different. In FM8, we do this by basically feeding back whatever operator we want. So you kind of see the differences. This is a very simple three operator design. So you don't have to get too complex. Look at there's six operators. We could have different things going on all over multiple feedbacks across the way filter and uh, saturation. I mean, it's crazy. So all this could get far more complex than we could ever imagine uh, doing in rounds. And look what happens. What does this sound like now? Who knows? But in rounds, it's not that bad to worry about. Really, we should show you quickly, too, that this operator output is like a second mix of operators 1 and 2 sent out alongside the carrier. So that's very helpful to basically add some some, some body, if you will. It's, it's akin to coming out here and adding multiple um, operators to the output level inside of FM8. But this is helpful because sometimes you create such thin sounds with an FM synthesis that you want to kind of boost it up with this operator out here. 